And next at Loxton Ag Tech Field Days, Matt Cooper, you've got the product in your hand. Take us through it. I do indeed. Thanks, Matt. Um, so I work for D3 Ag, um, and we are the Australian distributor for uh, Arable um, and their flagship product, product which is the, um, the Mark II. Um, as Mark mentioned in the, in the field earlier this afternoon, um, it's, uh, it's a weather station, but we also have some crop sensing capabilities in there as well. Primarily to look around the overall water balance of, of a crop, what's coming in, what's going in, our rainfall, our reference CT, our crop ET, and a couple of other bells and whistles as well, such as looking at overall peak greenness, NDVI, and things like that. So how does it actually do that? Well, we use uh, spectroscopy, um, so we, we measure about seven uh, different wavelengths which correspond to plant growth. We also use uh, infrared um, canopy temperature to get those measurements as well, um, and we use very simple ratios to get those, um, those NDVI calculations, okay. which we deliver on a, on a daily basis. Yeah. So how does the data go from there to something that we can use? So we transmit um, to two places, um, a web app and a mobile app um, via cloud services. Um, and look, the data that we see um, coming from this thing in the field um, provides us with all information about obviously everything that, you know, the weather, how that the weather drives our, our crop production. Um, we can tie things to, to growth stages and phenological stages. Um, and there's a little bit of extra capability in there to um, look at our irrigation uh, scheduling as well. Okay. So what have been some implementations that people have used this for to, to better their farm? Um, well, we see a lot of success in um, short season crops such as vegetables because it's very portable, it's, it's easy to move around um, and particularly in, in, in viticulture as well. Um, so uh, it was very popular in, in the commercial uh, research space in agriculture as well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really just a, a tool, a valuable tool that they can have in the toolkit which provides you know, all the relevant field data that, that they need to, to run their operations basically. We also have uh, the capability to plug into other systems as well. You know, for growers that might be have more of an on the boots, sort of, you know, on the ground boots approach. Um, you know, it's useful to have, you know, a series of these, th these things deployed across their operation where we can just check in, see what the local conditions are, what the forecasted conditions are, or we can scale up from that. And if we want to dive deeper, we can send our data to, to people like Swan Systems, you know, Deep Planet, um, Pear Tree Intelligence, and, and, a, and a whole range of others. So we've got great interoperability with, with um, other platforms that are out there, and um, that's where we see a lot of success as well. Excellent, Matt. Thank you. No worries. Thanks, Matt.